Hey guys, NT77 here, and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing one of the desktop games. You might know these, you might not, they're really cheap, like $2. And today, I'm going to be doing the croquet one. There's tons of different ones. If you want me to review them, just tell me in the comments. I have basketball also, desktop golf. This one will get pretty messy. There's ping pong, there's football, and I have a few others that I don't have near me right now. So, in the croquet set, it's just, like, if you don't know what desktop games are, they're just a small game, so you can just pull out, take two seconds to set up, take two seconds to put back in the box, and you can play real quick. So, first thing first is the mat. So, they have a felt mat that's so soft that I love feeling. It's just like heaven in your hands. Then, you, <laughs> you also get a starting post, like... So, the starting post, and you get an ending post. So, you can put them wherever you want to start and wherever you want to end. And then, you, of course, you can't play without these, the mallets to hit the ball. It gives you two mallets right here to hit the ball. And then, it gives you four different color balls to hit the ball. So, black, which I don't like black, as you know. Red, I like red. Blue, I also like blue. And yellow... And eh, not the best. And then the last final pieces of this game, they are these things. The things you have to hit the ball through. So if you don't know what croquet is, croquet is something that you have a mallet and you have to try to get from the start to the finish through all these obstacles, get it, hit the ball through the obstacles, and get to the finish. That's the object of the game. Throughout the video, I'll show you how to play and just have a lot of fun. So, first you can set up your course. So, you can have them as, the things as far away as possible, as close as you want. And you can have them, like, real close like that. And then you can have them, like, far away. And then you can have one maybe closer again or just, just pretty close. And then you can have one go there. This one's a crazy track. I don't make these crazy tracks that much. And then you can have the end. So if you want to see the track, it's up like this. Sorry for that. It goes from here, around here, up there, down here, around, and back up to there. So you have to try to hit it through all of them and get up to there. So since I don't have anyone today, I'm just going to do it by myself and because I don't have anyone. So I'm going to take the mallet and a ball. So first things first, you have to put the ball right beside that. So then you have to, let's put these down. You have to hit the ball. Oops, these balls are just getting so far away. So first thing you have to do is hit, you have to try to hit the balls through the course. And if you get it through one of these, you get a, another turn. If I had other people with me, if I didn't get it through, it would be their turn then. So if I try to hit it through there, oh, I guess that's another downside. You can't move the felt without it hitting. That kind of sucks. But you have to just hit the ball. Don't hit the felt. It's kind of hard, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, and here's something. If you hit down one of these things, you can say if you hit down one of those, you lose your turn, even if you got it through. So I like that rule, kind of. Oh, skills. I got it through. Oh, but I knocked it down. Um, I'm awesome at this. Like, I'm just beast mode. Um, I did not just do that. You never saw that. I did not miss. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, um, I, I take that back. I, I take that back. Oh, 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 no, no, let's go, let's go. Yes, I did it. I did it. I'm, I'm, I'm so skilled at this. But, again, the downside is if you tug this one bit, down everything goes. But also, one good thing about it is these aren't just little plastic that's going to snap. You're going to go, ah! Doesn't break. It's sturdy and everything. Same with these. Sturdy and these. Sturdy. Nothing's wrong with them. But I, if I was them, I would kind of make these a bit heavier so they can stay down, stay on the ground like this. But 
I, I think this is pretty good. It folds up and goes into a little box. One thing is there's so many pieces, so I'd try not to get it lost. And even this thing, it's really convenient because it just folds up like this. It has fold lines in it, so you don't even really need to fold it up perfect. Because then, like, I'm not a good folder, as you can see. Um, yeah, that that's how I fold. Um, good enough, good enough. Um, well, stay. Stay. Good. Now, the croquet box is pretty big compared to the others, like the golf is a small box compared to this. Because, well, the felt, it's so big that it just, you have to just stuff it in there. As, and all these pieces that you, if you get one thing lost, like especially a mallet, eh, that will suck. But if you put it all in the box, the lids also fall off really easy. Um, that's why I don't have one on here. And, well, th this is a really good game. I think you should go buy it, like, two, three dollars. If, you, if you're bored at recess, just, or even if you're old and you're at work, just, you can have it on your desk, and then when you're out for break, you can just take it out, set it up two seconds, and then put them back. Also, I think golf is the next one I'm going to do, because I think this would be a really cool one to review. It's a really good, like, the graphics are good on the front, and I will just show you a quick sneak peek of that. It's a little hole. And... Well, I think that will be it for today, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye.